Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 3 of the Tim Hortons Legends 2023 trading card set here on Firebox Breaks. And of course, in the backdrop we've got the legendary celebrations, Danielle Goyette with Team Canada. And on the right, the world's best of Brett Hall. That is a 1 in 100 pack pull, basically one per box. So if you want to buy the fully sealed box at the restaurant, definitely buy that. And you should get one of those cards on average. So we are going to break open 25 packs of these once again. But before we do, why don't we showcase a bit of what was pulled on the second series so well the part two is what i meant here we are we've got four of the legends and that is very in line with the first episode of course and the trendsetters we had three of those as well in the first episode we have six more of these a legendary or the championship resume cards so six there we pulled that as well in part one and in part two and we have nine of these record books. So we did pull ten of those in the first part. So one less, but that means we pulled the world's best. And that is one awesome trade away for that particular card. So no harm there. So why don't we start with the Legends once again, 25 packs. We'll leave that one for the later or towards the end. But without further delay, let's get right to it. And see if we can add to that impressive lineup right there already. So here we are. We've got LaFontaine. We've got the record books of Larry Robinson. So follow it up with Cassie Campbell. And we're just going to go pretty quickly because you've already seen that with part one and two. If you've seen the videos, if not, here we are. And we've got Mark Howe. And behind Mark Howe, we've got Jaina Hefford there. The Upper Deck Canvas Legends. That's how they look in the back if it is your first trip to the channel and for this product here. France St. Louis. All right, so we'll put that off to the side. Let's get these packs over there so it's easier to sort out. Here we are. Pack number three, not too bad. So far, so good. Now, I wouldn't mind hitting one of those redemption cards. They are very hard to hit. Astronomical numbers. Steve Larmer there, and we've got the Adam Graves, 90 and 94. Of course, the cup with the Edmonton Oilers in the 90 season, and 94, obviously, with the Rangers there. Mike Gardner, the consistent scorer there. 11 seasons, I believe, of 30-plus goals. So, a pretty solid player. Most of those with the Rangers, but here we are. We have Peter Stashny with the Nordique. Pad LaFontaine, record books right there. And Niedermeyer with the Ducks. All right, here we are. Let's carry on. And as mentioned, or if you paid attention here, we've got Jenny Bu uh, Johnny Busick. Ted Lindsay Legends or Trends right there, and that's pretty cool. Trends headers. That's how they look in the back, and I don't think I have that one. So I think we're going to be done the set pretty well or pretty quick Megan Acosta right there so as we normally do with this set after the first mini series of four parts have been completed I generally put one of the completed videos to see how far we did in terms of the set per box so a little bit of odds and see how far we got to completion there Tessa Bonhomme Bobby Hall and Andy Moog in the atrocious Boston Bruins jersey throwback. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because he was an Edmonton Oiler and that's the only jersey I prefer to see Mogan, but we all have an opinion and that is mine, of course. All right, so here we are. Doing pretty well. We have a Theron Fleury there. And a Kim St. Pierre championship resume. A lot of foil action there. And Stevie Y. <coughs> Excuse me if you're paying attention there. So I was going to say the voice has picked up. And uh, that's the reason why I sort of had a little bit of delay in between releases for the series. Martin St. Louis. We've got Bobby Hall there with the Canvas Legends. Followed up with Kim St. Pierre. And obviously I... I knew there was going to be an influx of Tim Hortons all across the YouTubes and 
similar channels that follow me but regardless I mean I do my best to keep this fairly relevant we've got Brian Trache there we have a Terry Sawcheck and of course Billy Smith with the old school gym night helmet there and I guess that worked for the 80s so obviously the equipment little old little primitive wouldn't last in this NHL era of course with the new designs and composite sticks etc etc Nancy Rollet and we've got a legendary celebrations Grant Fear I almost thought that was Gretzky but hey this is awesome so Grant Fear right there that is the third one of the celebrations back there and boom that is going to be the hit of the break so far Sarah Vinecourt all right and there's nothing wrong with hitting an Edmonton Oiler because that is the team that I cheer for. So give me a quick second here, ladies and gentlemen. And children, if you're watching this video, of course, I will include you because we keep it fairly, fairly neat in terms of the terminology and the language. All right, so here we are. The Grant Fear is going to stay right there. And we shall continue on. Let's move those off to the side. We are almost done. I think we've got a few more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15. So we have 10 packs in. Why don't we just carry it, carry onward here and basically speed it up. But that was one crazy hit there. So Marcel Dion. And we've got the John Beliveau, all of those titles right there. So quite the resume in terms of the Stanley Cup. But of course, we all know, the Canadians have multiple, multiple Stanley Cups. They hold pretty much the record, I believe, five in a row. And they definitely cleaned house in the original six. Here we are, Larry Robinson speaking of. Shanahan there and Caroline Ouellette. And, of course, they are the last team to win the Stanley Cup out of the Canadian teams back in 1993 with the young Patrick Waugh. Here we are, Grant Fear again, Oilers legend in every sense of the word. Chuck Plant, ditto for that player there, and Stan Makita. All right, so we're doing pretty well in terms of the base. I'm not sure how far I am with the base, but... I, I believe last year I was about 98% if not completed the base. We've got John Abelovo. We have Joe Sackett canvas there and we've got Butch Goring. I believe I did complete the base but it was the other one. I think Team Canada. Tim Hortons and I was about 98% so I needed a few cards but generally you will complete the base. Patrick Waugh there. Theron Fleury the single Solitary Cup with the Flames and Mike Medano there, obviously. All right, here we are. We are moving on. We are going to move that pack a little bit more off to the side. Open that up in the wings, and here we are. Dave Andrzejczyk and Wayne Gretzky in the wrong uniform. Scott Gomez. But of course, I mean, any Gretzky card is great. Speaking of Wayne Gretzky, I do have his autograph on an Oilers jersey. And I was in person, so I will not move that product whatsoever. That is a keepsake. Al McInnes, we've got Ray Bork right there. And we've got Chris Pronger in the Philadelphia colors. All right. We are almost done. The third episode of 25 packs. Bobby Clark right there. We have Jacques Plant, of course, very inspiring resume there. And we have Angela James. All right, so I think we have well, six packs remaining, plus this one here and the one in the back. So we've pretty much done fairly well. I, I want to keep this a little under 15 minutes. And we've got Ed Belfour right there. We've got Patrick Waugh, Record Books, and Andy Bathgate from the Rangers, Original Six. All right, what can we get here? So before we get to the end, ladies and gentlemen, Lanny McDonald there. We've got Paul Coffey. And we've got 
Teresa Besson or Brisson. Sorry about that pronunciation, but yes, before we complete five packs to go, for 20 packs in, let me know if you've collected this set, if you had a chance to buy these at your local Tim Hortons, Glen Hall, Haley Wickenheiser, and Ray Whitney. Or you have yet to purchase, maybe you want to go and check it out if you're in Canada or have access to it. Let me know. If you like the set, you have completed it, and if you hit or know somebody who pulled a redemption. Brad Richards, we have Frank Mohavlich right there. I believe that's a double. Jillian Apps, because I know those prizes, like the autographed jerseys that are framed, they're like 1 in 18,000 packs or something like that. Joe Neuendijk, we've got Mike Gardner, Legends in the Canvas, and Adam Oates right there. I have not hit one of those Legends or these Redemptions in all my years of collecting the Tim Hortons series. Frank Mahovlich, Bobby Hull, and Daniel Goyette. Other than last year when they released those donuts and the coffee cards, I did pull two of those. Psyching myself out, thinking I was going to get one of the redemption cards, like a relic or an autograph, but no, it was a coffee or tea redemption. So, well, that, that was the best that I pulled last year. So, can we break that schneid here? Maybe the last 25 packs, who knows. Brian Leach, we've got Marcel Dion right there, and we have Sherry Piper. So there we are, that was your look at the 25 packs. Let me just double check here. So those are empty packs, I know that was five. That was 10 there. I think we are pretty much even with 25 packs, that's 15. <clears throat> that is 20 there, and yes, that's 25. So we opened up 25 packs. We did fairly well. And I'm just going to cycle through really quickly, and I'll let you know what the hit of the break was, in my opinion, and you'll most likely know what it was. But we'll just cycle through these. So that, that one there, the canvas. Another record books. Ted Lindsay was pretty cool hit. Graves, a lot of the record books and the trendsetters here. We have Mike Gardner again. So these record books will be the most easy to hit. And you'll likely have doubles, if not tri triplicates, of those particular cards when you open up a pack or a box of Tim Hortons. But here we are. This is the hit of the break for part three, in my personal opinion there. Legendary Celebrations, Grant Fear from the Edmonton Oilers, and that's what it says in the back there, so read that in your leisure. And you let me know what you thought about this particular break for part three of the 2023 Tim Hortons Legends Trading Card Set here on Firebox Breaks. So like, comment, and subscribe for all that good stuff. And as always, I'll be back with more content in the near future. Until then, bye for now.